Yeah, down. Good. Even if it feels too low, that's okay there. Yep. Good. Because eventually then you can push his nose out. Right. And I think that's where his counter, I wasn't quite willing to get him deep enough. That's right. Well, you'll see it take away the ability to, to come up and get his under neck muscle on. So you use the bend, right, go forward. Because if you use it like that with an opening rein, then he doesn't shorten his neck as much, right? Yeah. Then you can push him to the contact. Yeah, push him to it and open rein and go. That's right. I know. Yeah, whatever, go wherever you have to. Good, turn his head. Right, so when he starts to try to press up, keep turning his neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So you can get your leg on properly, right? There you go. Versus having it up, right? Yeah. Good. That's it. Now ride forward, because that's not really a forward canter. That's like a little canter. Go big canter. That's it. Good. Okay. Good. That's it. Yeah. Forward. There. Yeah. So then he takes his neck down and out. Yeah. That's your hands coming up and over. One of the two. So fix that so there's space between the rein and your hand. Yes. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then you're not pulling backwards on him. Right. You're just giving a good feel on his mouth that's steady and consistent. That's right. There you go. That's better. And then forward. Good job. Good boy. <laughs> He's really cute. He's kind of like a big pony. He's like an overgrown pony almost. I know. That's what it feels like, too. Yeah. Him and Puck could do a little fancy business. Very good. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, down. Good. Even if it feels too low, that's okay there. Yeah. Good. Because eventually then you can push his nose out. Right. right? 